What's up, guys? So, um, basically, wanted to just do a little video here. Um, just kind of BS with you for a minute. So, we've got a lot of stuff in the future here. Um, today, I was able to get my tracking number for Pass to Hell um, by Compass Games. So, Operation Barbarossa at a tactical level. Um, it's going to have um, leaders that have special abilities. Um, and it, it's kind of a hybrid game. Um, you both go at the same time type, so it's 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 a little bit. It's going to be a little bit more challenging in the aspect of determining. Um, it's going to put. I think it's going to put more emphasis on that. That what do I do next? Um, type of move um, rather than be able to sit there and pre-plan, especially if I'm doing it solo, which I hope that uh, one of the numerous people that I game with comes over and is able to at least play one game with me and we can check it out. So I just kind of wanted to talk about that. I've got that. Still I'm waiting on my No Trumpets, No Drums um, designed by Mark McLaughlin. It's the, re, um, the reprint. Um, everybody seems to have gotten their copies. I'm still waiting for mine. No big deal. You know, we've, we've got lots of stuff in the works. Um, kind of uh, was able to pick up a good deal and picked up uh, the Third Reich, Rising the Decline of the Third Reich by Avalon Hill. Um, was able to snatch this up at a really good price. So I'll kind of go into that. Um, definitely um, check that out later um, down the road here. Um, you know, so um, something you know, I'm really into um, Vietnam. It's kind of one of my one of my my biggest. Um, obsessions um always have had this obsession with the vietnam conflict um you know same kind of um i kind of i'm starting to get the older i get i'm starting to get more into the pacific theater portion of world war ii um but i'm always drawn back to vietnam and and the politics behind why we were there what was going on behind the scenes um and and, and you know there's so much um so many books that I've read, and everybody has a different interpretation of what was really happening. And and for me, um, I, I still I, I'm still undecided on how I feel about some of it. Um, but you know, I, I picked up a book. I was on vacation um, a few months ago, and I ended up picking up a book called A Field of Innocence by Jack. Um, I, I'll probably say his last name wrong. S T S. Um, but basically, this is a book that he wrote about himself. Um, basically, it was 1968, and he was 18 years old. Um, his uh, girlfriend was pregnant, and he had no job, no money, so he joined the Marines and was sh shipped off to Vietnam. And while in basic training, he married her. And this is basically his memoirs. Um, and he's from Portland, Oregon, or like a little outside of Portland, Oregon, which isn't too far from where I live over here in Seattle. Um, and so I thought... You know, hell, I'll buy it and check it out. And you know, by reading this book, um, his his viewpoint of um, life in Vietnam and combat um, in Vietnam is really interesting to me. Um, you know, not so much um, any of the violent portions of it. I mean, they're they're pretty descriptive. They're um, you know, some of them are gut wrenching. Um, just you know, he he writes in a way that I can really feel for how he felt like. Um, you know, there's parts where um, some of his uh, friends die, and rather than um, feel bad, he, he, he kind of mocks the situation in the book, and it, I think that's how his brain was dealing with it at the time. And <clears throat> I remember reading that, that chapter, and I stopped, and I didn't really want to pick the book back up right away, and I literally sat on that for a few days and then, you know, kept going, and, and I'm now at a, a, at a different point. I'm not fully finished with the book. Um, but if you guys get a chance to check it out, definitely check out A Field of Innocence um, by Jack STS. Um, super good book. Um, I highly recommend it so far. I'm almost finished, and um, I'll definitely let you know how I feel about all of it um, so far. So let's go ahead and take a look here at uh, Rise and Decline of the Third Reich. Um, all right, so uh, like I said, I got Rise and Decline of the Third Reich. Um, online on a Facebook group, uh, Wargamers Marketplace. Um, gentleman had it up for $5. Um, I've looked at it a ton of times, <coughs> but usually people are asking um, a lot more than I'm willing to pay um, for an older game. I mean, granted, um, can I afford $30? Yes, I can. Do I want to spend $30? Not, not, not really if I don't have to. Um, but I went ahead and picked it up. 
Um, I figured, hey, why not? He said the box was kind of tore up. To be honest with you, um, I have other games that cost me a lot more where the boxes were in way worse damage. Um, like my Ambush game, the, the box is pretty beat up. But, um, you know, to me, um, Ambush was worth that extra money. I really wanted it. It was something I was willing to pay more for. Um, Rise and Decline, not so much. Um, you know, but I think I, I did a good job. So let's take a look um, what we had inside. So he hadn't even fully um, punched the game. So I've got, you know, some playing pieces here. Um, you know, corners aren't clipped, but that's not a biggie. Gives me something to do when I'm bored. Um, so it looks like he's sorted them pretty nice for me. Um, and again, you know, we're going to have all the pieces. Some of them are not even fully clipped or punched yet. Looks like you got a die here. So I got like Russia, United States, and France not even touched. Um, some Germany and Italy and some more neutral um, positions here on the bottom. Um, let's take a look. So it looks like we've got some forces here that have been punched out. And this one is pretty much gone. So inside I've got my instruction book. And I actually had downloaded um, a copy of the rule book. You know, the game is rated a 10 out of 10 on complexity. Um, you know, the, the rule book, um, from what I saw online, you know, there's a lot of rules. Um, but I'm not sure that I would compare it as a 10 on 10 as some other games I have um, reviewed and played. Um, definitely a lot of rules, and I think that what it's going to take is me to basically make a crib sheet of some of the special rules that, um, you know, I'm sure there probably is one on, on Board Game Geek. I just got to look. Uh, some of the special rules um, so that I can kind of just keep them on a crib sheet so I can refer back ones that maybe, to me, aren't as common. Um, you know, one thing I've learned over my years of playing, um, especially Avalon Hill and SPI War Games, is that the more I play newer games and I go back to these older games, they're really not that com they're not as complicated as um, I would have thought, you know, three or four years ago, or you know, five or six years ago. You know, um, I had some games where I was really struggling with them um, three, four years ago, just kind of understanding some of the concepts behind them. And now, um, you know, I've played a game that was hard, but for whatever reason, I was able to power through the rule book and force myself to learn the rules. And now um, I go back to these games and I read through the rule book and all of a sudden it's just, you know, there. There's no, there's no problems for me. Um, so it looks like here we've got some, uh, like this uh, one's a campaign. So we've got some campaigns, um, different ones. Um, you know, and granted, I don't know what all the cards mean um, because I haven't, um, you know, got all the way through the rule book. I've glanced through some of the pages, um, read some of the highlights of the rules. So um, it does look like, though, that everything seems to be in really good condition, in my opinion. Um, the map isn't bent or torn up. Um, it doesn't appear to have... You know, it doesn't smell like cigarettes or smoke of any type. I mean, I am an ex-smoker. I always smoked outside, but I am an ex-smoker. And, you know, so, um, you know, it doesn't... It's not necessarily a deal breaker for me if a game smells like smoke. Um, but, you know, it's kind of nice sometimes to have stuff that doesn't. Um, you know, I have recently bought a few games where they do have that cigarette smell, and it's not necessarily a deal breaker for me. Um... You know, life moves on for me, so it's it's one of those things. But you know, everything here seems to be in really good condition. Um, see if I can kind of get an idea. You know, so I mean, definitely, um, definitely a, a really nice acquisition, uh, especially at that price point of, um, like I said, five dollars is a steal. Um, so definitely, I'm going to uh, thank the gentleman that I bought it from and. Um, we'll definitely do business with him in the future, um, you know, as far as packaging and contents, um, you know, the only thing he said was that he thought the box um, was kind of beat up. Um, I would have to, other than this corner kind of ripped here, which is easily fixed, I would almost have to disagree with him, you know, I mean, it's not, it's not too terribly bad for being, um, you know, a game from the 70s. Um, it looks... 
you know, I mean, three really well put together corners, and you know, this is easily fixed. So, um, you know, I'm really glad it's. It is definitely um, a grand strategy game. I don't have a ton of grand strategy games. Um, I'm not really um, hu super huge on tactical games either, um, to be honest with you. I mean, I have some tactical games, and I do enjoy them, but they're not really my forte. I would say um, I, I really do prefer, um, you know, like the operational level um, gaming. Um, war games, I like to see things from the operation standpoint. Um, you know, the smaller scale is fun. It's usually quicker, um, and, I, and I do enjoy it. But uh, this will be my first grand strategy game, um, and we'll, we'll see how that works for me. Um, you know, most of you know I, I've never been in the military. Um, I have no military background. My father was military. My grandfather and great-grandfather were all military. Um, and, you know, my, my grandfather, my mother's father fought in uh, Pacific Theater, um, and my other grandfather fought um, in Korean War. <laughs> and then my father um, served during the Vietnam War. So I, I don't, um, I don't personally have any uh, military background, and I think part of, um, that it gives me a different viewpoint of playing the games because I don't play the games um, from a military standpoint, um, you know, so to speak, because I have no background in that. Um, I have nothing but the utmost ab admiration for anyone who has served and, and will always show them respect. So, um, we're gonna, what's gonna happen here is uh, Third Reich will probably get pushed to the side for a little while uh, with Pass to Hell coming in. In the next few days, I'm going to go ahead and get an unboxing video, show you guys components. We'll go over the basic uh, rules, functions. Um, you know, it is part of the War of Storm series, so um, I haven't played any of those. So this is Volume 3 of the series, so I haven't played 1 and 2, so I'm going to have to read the rules um, for the module specific rules plus um, the War of Storm series rules. Um, then from there, what I'll do is um, start uh, punching it, clipping it, and getting it ready to go. Um, and we will go from there. So hopefully, um, you know, by Sunday, Monday, you guys have another video, um, see another video come up, and then we'll be uh, right into pass to uh, hell. And then I, um, I'm hoping uh, no trumpets, no drums shows up anytime now. I've been waiting forever for this game. Super excited to get it to the table. Um, it's it's almost it's almost killing me. I almost canceled my pre-order to reorder it from One Small Step Games, which I should have done in the first place. Um, it is what it is. I can't go back now. Um, you know, it cost me a lot more than what I paid for the pre-order that I'm waiting on. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait, hold off, and uh, pass the hell should keep me busy long enough, um, or even longer than I need to before um, No Trumpets, No Trump shows up. Thanks for watching.